just a boy dreamed of falling in love with a girl like you. Through the years I thought I found you, but nothing would do. Now here we are. Dreams come true This day's finally arrived. It's felt like forever since our trip to Gisborne and the day I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life. When we first met, I just knew there was something different about you. Your constant sarcasm, humor, and mockery was infuriating and but captivating. And I knew you were someone I needed to be around. The time we spent in London was perfect and it turned my life upside down, literally. I'd never met someone who was as witty, generous, and gorgeous as you, and it gave me the, the drive and energy to push for change. So when you told, when you said you had to leave London for good after four months, I knew I had to follow you out to New Zealand or regret it forever. Thankfully, my gamble of leaving everything in, in the UK and starting again in, London, in New Zealand paid off. I have no idea why, but I'm so happy I did. You simply are the best part of my day, every day. So thank you. Thank you for sharing your life with me, for introducing me to your, your family and friends, and for helping me build a new life in New Zealand. Thank you for always pushing me to be better, because we both know that I need it. For turning me into a cat person, for writing the shopping lists each week, and not getting too angry, having the to touch the <laughs> I count myself truly lucky to be with you each day, and I promise that I will always be there. Jess, you know there are so many more things I could say about how special you are and what our life together means to me, but we both know I never know when to show. Mm -hmm. 
So all I'll say is, Jessica, darling, my dazzling cabbage, you are my favourite person, my best friend, and my partner in the I love you. Robert Edward John Field, I love you. From our first date, I knew why it had taken me so long to find my person. I have been waiting for you. From that first date onwards and every moment since, you have given everything to our relationship. We only spent four months together when you decided to move to the other side of the world for me. I will never ever be able to tell you how much that means. How grateful I am that you trusted in us enough. You've always been an all or nothing kind of person. And although sometimes it drives me up the wall, I'm so, so glad you went all in on us. After being in New Zealand only a week, I threw you in the deep end with a dinner with most of my family. You didn't even flinch. I knew I loved you then and I've loved you every day since. Thank you for loving my family. Thank you for playing golf with dad and for teasing mum. Thank you for adoring my grandparents. For loving Fonga Mata, for loving Freddie. Thank you for loving country music and for always making me laugh. Thank you for challenging me to be the best version of myself. For loving me and my many, many flaws. Every day you treat me like a queen, even when I 100% do not deserve it. You are handsome, confident and incredibly charming. You are absolutely terrible at remembering song lyrics. You have an ability to talk to anyone and everyone, which drives me nuts and I love you for it all at once. You constantly support me and also tell me when I'm being completely irrational. I can't imagine a day without you by my side. I promise to book it with you like the old married couple we've always been for the rest of our lives. I promise to always wake you up in the morning when I decide you've had enough of the sleeping. And I promise to always nag you about exercise. I promise to listen when you talk about work, but zone out when you talk about golf. I promise to always be your biggest fan. I promise to leave here absolutely everywhere. I promise to always encourage you, challenge you and support you. I wish more than anything that your parents were here with us today. But I hope they know they raised the most incredible man who I love with all my heart. True Bailey Margaret, I promise to always look after him and I can't wait to celebrate with you both at the end of the year. Rob, my love, my princess, I will always be grateful for bumping into you in Covent Garden. Thank you for being my comfort, my best friend and my other half. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life loving you, bickering with you and laughing with you. I love you. been able to walk their daughters down the aisle and um, it's one of the moments of my life and Jess you look absolutely amazing. You just look phenomenal. I'm so grateful that I could be here to see these beautiful moments between you both but also see what an amazing couple you are the people that you've grown to come together. Here's to the last five years and to make yourself smile. Robert, I'm so glad that Jess met you. It is because of her that we are all blessed to have you in our lives. You are funny, kind, caring, a great listener, but also an even better partner. As one of Jess's best friends, and I think I can speak on behalf of my other friends that are present here today, I couldn't imagine a better partner and a better husband than Jess. Keep 